Agents, Chris Monroe here, Simply Health Insurance Agency. Getting a lot of agents asking me, how are we gonna collect these consent forms? All right, how are you doing it within your agent CRM account? So we created a few features. Uh, we've created some workflows for this that make capturing this consent form super duper easy. But before I share that with you, Here's what I want you to do. Like my video, I want you to comment. I want you to, you know, give me some comments, guys. I respond to every single comment myself. And then if you would, subscribe to my channel and share me. I'd really love for you guys to share uh, my channel. I'm trying to grow this thing and make it as big as possible. All right. First thing I want to share with you. Okay, because I am pretty sure you guys are going to start questioning me. And you guys need to do what you think is right for you. This is what I think is right for me. Okay. All right. So um, what I did is I got a folder here that I will share with you guys. All right. I'm going to be nice. I've already done all the work. But here is the wording straight from CMS on how we can collect permission or the consent forms. It states here that there are different formats that may be acceptable for agents and brokers to use to document consumer consent, such as a recorded phone call. If you use agent CRM and you call from within agent CRM, you can record the conversation. You can get a text message. You can get an email. You can get an electronic document with digital signatures like DocuSign, HelloSign, Adobe Sign, whatever, or you can use wet signatures. Now I visit with my people in person, so I already have consent forms sitting here. A lot of them come in and I just have them write all the information and it's done. As I'm doing my work, I just hand this right to them. Will you please fill this out? And it's a done deal, all right? So that's coming straight from CMS. Now. They also have given us their version of the consent form. Okay. Well, I just took their stuff and, and kind of made it mine. Okay. So I didn't reinvent it. I just took what they're saying is the consent and I'm knocking it out. Okay. It's that easy. Okay. Let's go to my screenshots of how I do it with an agent CRM. And guys, if you want to do this, Here's what you can do. Go and I will give you in the description below is a link for a, I think it's a 14 day free trial and you don't even have to put your credit card. Go play with the CRM and see if you like it. Okay, you play with the CRM and if you use and purchase my CRM, I will give you all of my workflows. Everything that I have created for Medicare, ACA, dental and vision. I don't have a lot of life, but I got some life stuff in there. Auto and home if you're a PNC agent. Everything that I do, that I do to run my monster agency here, you get. Okay. And then I'm going to show you how I get these consent forms. All right. So here we go. Let's go to the pictures. All right, so here we go. So when you go to look at a contact, so let's say it is this person, whomever it is, I blacked out all their information. You go in there and you pull them up. Okay, you go to contacts, you do a search over here for the contact, you find them, you pull them up. Now, first thing that you need to do, because you're like, okay, where is it? You need to unhide the fields. I added these custom fields. This is what they look like. When you uncheck that underneath the date of birth, you're going to see this ask for ACA consent. Okay, what you will do here is you will either send them SMS English, which is a text message in English, SMS Spanish, an email in English or an email in Spanish. Now you see that I have some duplicates here with LM and MM. LM is me, MM is my wife. Reason I had to do that is because I do Texas and then my wife does all the other states, okay? It's a farmer's thing. Anyway, so pick what you want, okay? Now, as I'm talking to the insured, this is how I normally do it. Say, hey, can you do me a favor? Uh, can I, I'm gonna send you a quick text and I just click it right now. 
can you look at it, review that consent form, and just reply back with I consent or yes, proceed, whatever you want to reply with. But I need your consent to, to complete your quote. Most of them are like, oh, I got it. And they just reply back. Beautiful. So what you would do is you would check whichever one you're going to do and just hit save. When you do that inside of Agent CRM, it knows this. The workflow has already been created. And what it does, it sends them the consent form right here. Then they reply back with, I consent. Okay. It will do, when they reply back, two things happen. Number one, the whatever they replied with goes right here. I don't know why I did it. I like it. Why not? But then over here on this side, it will give you the date of the consent and the time of the consent. Beautiful. If some carrier or some other agent, I don't know if I'd give it to an agent, but why not? Or some other, maybe CMS, healthcare.gov, whomever. Hey, did you get consent? Prove it. I would take a screenshot of this and send it. If you did it by phone, okay, and you call with an agent CRM, here in the contact for this individual, you will see the recording here. And if you collected it in a, with a wet signature, well, I have a, a database, I have a management system that I, I have all my clients, it's, in, it's like an electronic file cabinet. And then I go scan them on my scanner and then I load them into their file. So either way, I am capturing the consent. Guys, I'm telling you, it's not that hard. We are seven days into business and we're at 368 new business policies written in seven days. We're hopefully going to cross the 3,000 threshold. We did a little under 1,400 last year. All right. So here's what I will do. If you click the more button, number one, I've got ACA 101 course that I teach. All my agents, I put them through that. And second, I give them... Uh, my smart book is in there if you want it. It's a manual for you guys. Second is I've got the agent CRM link. Use my link. It's the same price as if you go direct, but you get all of my workflows. And the third thing, if I got most of my business from Facebook and Instagram, I run ads on there. If you want to learn how to do that, the lady who helped me, she created a course and you can go and buy her course. Thank you guys. I hope that helps you out. Make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel and share my channel with other agents.